Citizens of Big City, are you tired of hats that don't fit? Are you dissatisfied with the diameter of your dome? Tiny heads are the hot new trend. Don't be the last kid on the block with a big old noggin. Benny, I'm looking in your direction. People are counting on you to get their skulls ready for bikini season. So, what do you say? Oh, no thanks. This is junk. I don't appreciate you playing on my perceived insecurities. There's no shortcuts to a slim head. Only diet and exercise. Ah, oh, come on! Uh, I don't get it. Why won't people buy this garbage? John made it sound so simple. Just tell them what they want to hear, and they'll practically sell themselves. Wait, is that what I wanted to hear? Am I the easy mark? Oh, Grandma was right. A hundred smackaroos right down the drain. Sorry, Caitlin. I can't afford to go to the concert with you guys. Have fun without me. <sighs> Money problems are the worst. Tell me about it. I just poured a bunch of money into these skull slimmers. The guy said they'd sell themselves. Sell themselves? That's what the guy said. He told me I'd double my money. Whoa, wait, can I get in on this? Uh, what now? If I double my money, I can go to that concert with my friends. Wait, you want to buy my skull slimmers? Yeah, how much for the whole box? Ahem, <clears throat> well, since we're such good pals, I'd be willing to let them go for $200. Sold. You really think I can double my money? I did. This puzzle's impossible. What's it even supposed to be? It's a picture called Starless Night. Why would you pick that? Oh, family! Guess who's not a sucker after all? I sold the whole lot. Kiss my filthy bare feet. Owie! Who on earth is dumb enough to buy that junk? Why, if you must know, our dear friend Gloria saw the true value of skull slimmers. You scammed Gloria? Oh, I wouldn't say that. I simply offered her the same business opportunity I enjoyed. Scam! It's not a scam. Gloria just has to find someone dumber than her to buy them. But then what about that person? Mm -mm -mm. We didn't even know them. Well, be forewarned, Cricket. The deceitful lifestyle is a dark and endless void. Much like this puzzle, which we will now have to start over because of you. Gah! Yeah, at least let me do the edge pieces. There are none. Like outer space, this puzzle is amorphous and without borders. Listen, aren't you interested in a thinner, lighter skull? I just wanted a refill. No, wait! <laughs> a thin skull is a healthy skull. Hey, Gloria, how's the sales going? Cricket Green, what pack of lies did you sell me? That's a heck of a way to say good morning to your little business, buddy. Nobody wants these stupid things. You totally conned me. Con is such a strong word. I never said people didn't want any, and you didn't ask if people did. So, in a way, didn't we con each other? Ah! Gloria, please, let's just talk this out. Ah! Ah, stay back, Gloria. You know, if you put this kind of energy into your sales pitch. Ah! Ah! Go, go, ah! Come here, Cricket. Ah, no, buddy. Oh, man, Gloria's finally lost it. <laughs> Ah, home free. Ah, somebody save me! Huh? Yeah, green, you come back here! He probably deserves it. All right, now, please, I'm your friend. Enough! Cricket, just give me my money back and this all stops. I spend it already. Yeah. What? I may or may not have decided to spend the money you gave me on this. You spent all of my money on a wedding cake? It's just the biggest cake I could buy. I don't care if it's for a wedding. Then what are those? Well, excuse me if I wanted to feel special on my big day. <laughs> Cricket, that $200 was from my rent fund. If I don't make my money back, I won't be able to pay my rent. Oh, gee, I, I didn't know that. Cake? Ah, 